Hey, what's up, guys? This is Lipkai. Um, this will be my first YouTube video. Um, the first video I'm going to do uh, for, for everybody is going to be getting started with RBGs and what you need to prepare yourself to move in the right di direction. Uh, so pretty much for this is for everybody that's trying to get into RBGs and uh, who actually want to start doing RBGs more seriously. I'm going to talk about the stuff um, that you need to be doing to prepare yourself in order to be successful in, successful in RBGs. Now, the first thing I want to talk about in the in in the preparation, um, in moving in the right direction for RBGs, is going to be your add-ons. Okay, the first thing you want to do with your add-ons is make sure that you have battleground enemies right here. Battleground enemies, big debuffs. I'll explain that to you in a second. You also want to have, if you are a healer, Omni Bar. Big debuffs also falls into the category for healer. Big debuff is to dispel other healers, okay? Uh, Omni Bar, in order to uh, spell juke, that's this right here. You also want Reporter, that's this map here on the right side. This map can be changed and can be uh, set to your liking. And Capping, the last one is Capping, okay? You don't see it here. Um, what Capping does, it also... It also... Um, calculates the battleground for you whenever you're in like a, a battleground that 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 has that needs points and stuff like that right so like orbs and uh heating shore and stuff like that okay so for the first add-on we have battleground enemies this is so that you can target and click through enemies um this is basically just your way to get accountability of every single person um, in the battleground whenever you're doing battlegrounds. So, uh, in this instance, I have my enemy, my enemy plates up. I'm checking where they're all moving. And this is how you get accountability of everybody. Uh, just simply by clicking through frames and seeing where their positioning are. Um, this is how you keep most track. All right. So we know that the rogue is staying in the flag room. So whoever's going to go pick up the flag will actually, will actually be in kind of trouble because their rogue is staying back. So these are the small things that you want to, you, uh, you guys want to, uh, watch and why you need battleground enemies um as far as big debuffs you see this blinding light and the sphere see how it pops up as a bigger debuff um more than than just a normal regular size debuffs you know what i'm saying so that is exactly why you need big big debuffs um the next one capping okay that's making sure okay big debuffs okay omni bar omni bar is right here it shows the interrupts so let's say the shaman is sitting on me or the pally sitting on me. I want to check if he utilized his his interrupts already in order to know if I can free cast or if I have to spell juke. Now spell juking is like, you know, just casting, cancel casting, cancel casting, cancel casting, cancel. The spell juking and that's why you need omni bar. Um just so you can bait people's people's interrupts while you're playing, okay? So now that we covered all the add-ons that that we kind of need wait let me take a look here again at the add-ons uh oh reporter is for positioning so here on the bottom right i can see the positioning if i was to mark people as you see i'm the leader right now okay um if i put an x on this monk on the mini map here on the bottom right i can actually see the positioning of of the player that i marked with an x so this is a great way to see where your healers are especially if you're a dps um, and what you need to do in order to stay alive. So I can just look at this mini map and I know, well, if I just go in this direction, then I'll be able to, I'll be able to uh, stay alive and a healer will keep me up. So that's why this thing is important. Also, like if you're in maps like Seething Shore, then it also shows the timer of, of the next spawning notes. That's what Reporter does. Um, or if you cap a base in Arathi Basin, you can mouse over this and it will tell you when that base caps over you know what i'm saying uh so that's what reporter does it is very good to keep accountability of your uh, uh your allies and where they're at and what they're doing um it's it will help you um for your for your team very important okay so as far as the add-ons go we cover the add-ons the next thing you need to do as far as preparing yourself for rated battlegrounds and moving in the right right direction to get better and to improve um, is going to be key bindings. The next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that all your spells and abilities are key bound. Okay, 
you want to be able to play your class and heal. Like if I, if I disabled all my buttons here, the visibility of them. Look at this, guys. We have one, two, one, two, seven, five, eight, and nine. Okay, one, two, seven, five, eight, and nine. Okay. Oh, we'll do six too. Uh, six. So if I just spell, I mean, if I turn this all off, I can still play my character without being able to see my buttons. Um, I still, I'm still able to play the game without looking at my buttons. Um, and that is what you're after when you, as far as doing key binds. As, as far as key bindings goes, and the reason why you really want to do key bindings and memorize your key bindings and train yourself for key bindings to know exactly where they are, is so that you can play the game and watch the game. You don't want to be watching bars. You don't want to be watching anything else. But your, but to, like, if you're a healer, you just want to be watching the 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 allies' health bars. You just want to be watching yourself, um, and your positioning and stuff like that. Like, r like right now, I have two. No, I have yeah, I have a, a lock trying to kill me. Um, multiple enemies, but I'm still able to play because I memorized all my key bindings. I know where all my buttons are. I know where everything's at, right? So this is what you really need to do. You need to set up your key bindings, train yourself for key bindings, memorize your key bindings. You need to be able to play the class without looking at your buttons. Very important, okay? The next thing that you want to do, well, I'll make a future video for key bindings and how to train yourself um, in the future. Right now, I'm just going over the basics. Um, just to kind of like slowly prepare yourself in order to do RBGs and get ready. So the next thing you want to do, the first thing we did was add-ons. The second thing we did was key bindings. All right, make sure, let me just say this in key bindings, everything needs to be key bound. You do not want to click anything. You want to be watching your game. You don't want to be watching your buttons. Okay. All right. The third thing that you want to be doing is you want to understand your class. When I say understand your class, I'm talking inside and out. Um, every single ability every single talent every single spec every single build and this is going to take time okay you're gonna have to do research on your class you're gonna have to press your buttons you're gonna have to get random battlegrounds you're gonna have to get in into all kinds of situations and understand your abilities and what they do so in this specific instance as a disciplined priest in in this battleground i understand that i have a lot of pad healing um, I do have spells that may save people. Um, you have to look at each one of your talents. I, I really, really recommend you, you really read these abilities and understand them very well. Okay. So if there's something I didn't know when I first started playing Disc Priest, I didn't know that if you look right here, Mind Blast, uh, blast the target mine for 1,600 shadow damage and preventing the next 5,994 damage. Big deal. Oh, we just got a random follower while we're doing a video. Nice. <laughs> All right. So I see because I didn't read the tooltip of this mind blast, I didn't understand that it prevented 6,000 damage. I didn't know that. So that's what I'm saying. Everybody needs to understand all their talents. And it's not just the one that you're running because whatever you're challenging and whatever you're going up against, you need to be understanding what you can switch to whenever you're challenging things. So I suggest you read every single talent and every single ability as some of these ability, abilities can be more beneficial than others depending on the comp that you're challenging in rated battlegrounds. Even as far as your PvP talents goes, these all can help you. There are some talents that you want to run every single game and never swap. So like in Discipline Priest perspective, I never want to change Ultimate Radiance. I never want to change Trinity, but I can change Dark Arc. I can set up Dark Arc. I can run Archangel. Instead of Archangel, I can run Dome. There's many things that you can change to, but you just have to understand your spec, your talent, and really put in the work. Don't just, pro don't just select what you like and then just run that every time. You have to completely understand what your your uh what your what your class can do in perspective of helping your team okay all right so that's the next thing understanding your class the next thing is understanding your role um if there's something that i see a lot in rbgs and uh 
that that people are doing is they don't really understand their role and they're trying to do things that they shouldn't be doing like i've been a part of groups where i have a dk trying to assault a base or a warrior trying to assault a base is that their role absolutely not a dk and warrior's role is to sit into a team fight do high amounts of damage interrupt a lot of targets and just keep the ball rolling as far as damage goes right so really understanding your class and role is very important um when it comes to rbgs and where you should be and what you should be doing um it is super super important when it comes to that aspect um healers you know healers should be healing not uh doing damage or uh trying to assault bases themselves or being in the wrong place at the wrong time um this guy this guy's upset um uh, so really understanding your role of where you should be and when you should be and you guys don't understand don't don't worry uh in the future i'm going to actually make um a specific understanding your role youtube video so make sure you guys come back later in the series to under uh to see what i have for that okay uh but for now i'm just gonna stay a little a little little just run through it real quick and just say understanding your role what to do when to do and where to go okay so the next one is that you need to do for for getting ready to do rbgs and moving in the right direction is going to be understanding maps and objectives so for each map and uh meet each map in rbgs that you get into you need to understand what the map is what the objective is and how to win okay as far as eots twin peaks wsg seething shore all these maps have an objection uh, objective so what do you need to do to in order what what do you need to do in order to win the game as far as these as far as these game goes uh that's what you need to really understand and you need to stick to the objective and you need to play to the objective and that's how you're going to be really successful when it comes to rbgs okay you can there, there's no such thing as just team fighting all the time um your strategies may change mid game and throughout the game if as long as you understand <clears throat> excuse me the objective of the map you don't have to stick to one thing all the time you can always change your strats and evolve as you're playing the game um so understanding the maps and what their objective is just ask yourself okay what do i need to do in order to win this game uh what 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 do i what requirements do i need to meet in order to win this game so you're just going to keep asking yourself these questions and and that's that's where you go from there and that is why it is very important in, in getting ready to do rbg is to look at each map understand what you need to win those maps and what you need to do in order to to secure the win and be successful in the win um we'll just stay we'll just stay very vague with that again and just um not go too deep into it because i will have a future uh video for each map and what their objective is and what you can do in order to be successful so that'll be another future video uh don't forget to tune in later for that um and the last thing that you want to do in preparing yourself for rbgs and 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 moving in the right direction in order to become successful in rbgs is understanding rbg lingo so i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys when you guys get into rbgs people are making these calls people are saying these things and half of the stuff you you really just don't understand what they're saying and you just they, they're telling you to do stuff and you're saying well what is that he said to peel or he said to spin or he said to there's so much rbg lingo and it's a different language for some people that has never rbg before um in their life okay so just taking the time to learn what the RBG lingo is, and I will also make a separate video for that later in the future. But right now, we're just staying focused on what we need to do to move in the right direction in order to be successful. So this is just the basics. This video is supposed to be covering the basics as far as RBGs go and preparing yourself to do RBGs and what you need to do RBGs. Um, I really hope that everybody has enjoyed the video and all the information i gave you guys make sure you guys follow the channel subscribe to the channel there will be future videos i'm a, i'm really new at this it's my first video um but 
in the future i'm going to be making a lot more videos uh covering a lot of these small sections that i just spoke about um they can go really far in depth as far as what you need to do in rbgs i'm also for i know there's future leaders that want to become leaders in rbgs and they're looking for guides i will be making guides in the future uh, in order to make yourself successful as a leader and what you need to do to become successful in, as a leader so make sure you guys follow and subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching the video i'll catch you guys later